right, so that was the supers. Now we're gonna try to uh, All right, so we got the Resonator K. This one at the top, 300 blackout SBR, is a seven and a half. So that can say eight and a half, but I feel like the seven and a half, I, I don't feel like an inch gonna make a big, big difference because that can did say small as is eight and a half. So down here, we do have an eight and a half. We shot this seven and a half with the R9. And, um, yeah, that's all we can do. We can do the T2, but the R9, we've done that with both of these. The issue I was having with this, cause I was going to have to get a new rail because the R9 doesn't, um, it, it was like hitting this part. Yeah, it was definitely hitting that. So with the resonator K, it fits in there perfectly now. And that's how the T2 made because it comes with the muzzle brake. So that fits good in there. So I don't think it's going to be no big deal. The R9 was cool on here because this little extra inch was out and it wasn't hitting this rail. So that was cool on there. Okay, so it says eight inch is the smallest. So that's half of an inch. I don't think that's going to cause no problems. So it says minimum barrel length eight inch. And that was how it was. I think the R9 is set up the same. It looks like the R9 is the same size as the Resonator K. Okay, let me see. So I'm going to go to that part. I guess that's the beginning of it. So about five inches. And then this one. They're about the same. So yeah, they're about the same. Uh, let's see. The hole probably is about the same. It might be because you can do 308 out of the R9 also. So it's probably about the same. So I won't be surprised I'm getting the same almost sound out of it. Because I think out of the 30 cal cans, you can go back to, you can shoot nine millimeter out. I'm not sure, I just gotta check. But um, yeah. Only difference is, like I said, with that mount, the way the mount is for the R9, I had it direct and it was hitting that. So now we ain't got to worry about that anymore. So I'm going to definitely, I would like to compare these two and do both of these subsonic. So when I get the subsonic ammo for the 300 blackout, I just order some of that. I think I might have some, but I got to zero that SBR anyway. So, and check, recheck the zero on this. See if that's an adjustable gas block. Nah, I didn't put nothing on the 300 blackout. But the resonator K can go on. That's what it can go on. So I can use that on my 10 and a half. A lot of different stuff. 308, all of that. So 556. Five, like my T2, I want to see what, what the size difference is on that. Yeah, because the T2 is longer. So my T2, I was limited only to 5.56 five, and stuff like that. Couldn't do no 300 black out of that. So the only comparison with these two is this. And I can do the R45. So I can actually run the R45 also 8 inches the minimum. So yeah, we can run a lot on that. And it says 132, and then that says 137 on the K. Resonator K, 308. And they didn't really say what they ran on this.
So that's what we'll do with that. But the K is 30 cows. So like I just showed, there's so many different options I can run on that. Um, I'm not going to put it on any other gun. Because we already know it fit. But my main thing is I want to see what it would look like on the SBR. Um, I tried on my 10 and a half, but I got the other one for the 10 and a half. So I ain't even going to worry about that. The uh, Whatever that other one is. T, T2. That could go on a 10 and a half SBR. But yeah, I can't wait to test these two. I want to see um, which one of these would be quieter. So yeah, even my 10 and a half was set up like that too. So I, I never ran the R9 on there because of that same setup. So that's the 10 and a half with the T2, 556 five, and the Resonator K 300 blackout. Yeah, I ain't gonna worry about it. Just um, shoot it and just shoot. I was just gonna hear it run. work 23 what's that 2396 2340 2250 2350 2760 2893 I see your motivation I see your movement is in effect and I fucking love that shit. <laughs> Get up.